Hey there! Did you know Baker's always gives you savings and rewards on top of our lower than low prices? And when you download the Baker's app, you'll enjoy over $500 in savings every week with digital coupons. And don't forget fuel points to help you save up to $1 per gallon at the pump. Want to save even more? With a Boost membership, you'll get double fuel points and free delivery. So shop and save big at Baker's today. Baker's, fresh for everyone. Savings may vary by state. Restrictions apply. See site for details. The T-Biz Podcast delivers tea news that you need to know. A recap of the week's major headlines with commentary and cultural trends hosted by Dan Bolton. It is the voice of origin for tea professionals and enthusiasts worldwide. Tea nourishes and inspires. It is an ancient plant-based medicine that simultaneously heals and energizes the body as it soothes the mind. Making fine tea is a blend of artistry and craftsmanship. The $200 billion tea trade is fundamentally local, yet exerts global influence employing millions to enhance the well-being of all. Hello, everyone. Here are this week's headlines. Escalating missile attacks are rerouting European-bound tea. Serve hot tea dry in January. And Tata Consumer Products buys Capital Foods at Organic India. Plus... Traditional Medicinals is a Northern California-based botanical wellness brand rooted in modern herbalism to inspire active connection to plant wisdom in service of people and planet. Formulations of more than 60 teas, lozenges, and capsules are strictly limited to botanical ingredients without added flavors and in quantities that meet pharmacopoeia standards for efficacy. The company's single blends and single herbal infusions are organic, sustainable, and ethically sourced. Traditional Medicinals was launched in 1974, and in recent years, the company has experienced exponential growth as consumer demand fills the sales, expanding distribution from niche natural food stores to mass market outlets. Joining us is Chief Marketing Officer Crystal Corson. Medicinal teas have been around for what seems like forever, she says, but herbals are having their moment, and it is important to educate folks, not just on what has been, but on what medicinal herbalism is today, and it's very different. More in a minute, but first, this important message. What makes a perfect cup of Ceylon tea? The perfect cup is from the tea businesses that ensure the protection of all the children living within their tea estates. We salute Kailani Valley, Telawakili, Bogawanthalawa, Harana, and Eliftia tea estates. Support Save the Children, Sri Lanka. Tea shipments are being rerouted to avoid the Red Sea following repeated drone and missile attacks. Ongoing U.S.-U.K. airstrikes failed to halt Yemen-based Houthi rebels, who this week hit a Greek-registered bulk carrier, a Malta-based cargo ship, and an American-owned cargo ship in the Gulf of Aden. The USS Laboon downed an inbound anti-ship cruise missile on January 14th. On January 17th, the U.S. launched a fourth wave of missiles from ships and planes after a drone attack that set a fire that was extinguished on the Genco Picardi bulk carrier. The shippers are heeding warnings to avoid the Babel el Mandib Strait at the southern entrance to the Red Sea, where there have been 40 attacks on merchant vessels since November. The volume of containers transported via the Red Sea has plummeted by 70% of what is normally expected. Rerouting is inconvenient and costly, adding at least 10 days of transit time, but is yet to seriously disrupt global supply chains. According to the Maersk shipping line, the disruption could last at least a few months. Quote, hopefully shorter, but it could also be longer because it's so unpredictable, in quotes, said Merck CEO Vincent Clerk, speaking at the Davos, Switzerland. 
rerouting is driving oil prices higher, and insurance is becoming expensive and difficult to obtain as insurers shun Red Sea Transit contracts. Indian Tea Exporters Association Chairman Anshuman Kanoria said tea exports to Europe and the U.S. are negatively impacted. Fifteen additional days are required for the westbound shipments, and container availability has, quote, fallen significantly, leading to a large surge in ocean freight rates, end quote. According to Reuters, container deliveries to Europe from Vietnam and Indonesia have been delayed up to three weeks, and freight rates have increased by 150% on Asian-European routes. The latest Drury World Container Index, published on January 11th, shows rates increased 15% in the second week of January to $3,072 for a 40-foot equivalent unit, an increase of 44% compared to the same week last year. In the past three weeks, passage from the Gulf of Aden to the Suez Canal has become a treacherous 1,200 nautical miles. There are growing fears the conflict between Israel and Gaza-based Hamas will spread to Yemen and possibly include Iran, making a Suez passage too dangerous to consider. The Houthis say they will immediately allow the free flow of ships if Israel agrees to a ceasefire in Gaza. Tata Consumer Products has acquired the tea and spice company Organic India and food processor Capital Foods. The two companies have a combined enterprise value of $842 million. Based in Uttar Pradesh, Organic India buys tea and spices from thousands of family farmers cultivating organic acreage. The company produces a range of wellness teas and blends, earning about 324 crore rupees in the fiscal year ending March 31, 2023. The company is currently operating at a loss. Capital Foods, funded in 1996, generated 705 crore rupees in 2023. It is profitable and valued at about $615 million. Brands include Smith & Jones and Ching Secret Condiments and Prepared Meals. The company owns and operates three automated manufacturing facilities. Tata Tea and Tetley currently account for 21% of the Indian tea market, second to Hindustan Unilever, and more than double Wog Bakri, which has a 9% share. Kohl owns six tea brands, including Lipton, Taj Mahal, and Red Label, accounting for 23% market share. The acquisition significantly increases the availability of organically grown teas and signals a shift from commodity and premium packet tea to a wellness brand. Organic India is known for its Tulsi green tea blend. Approximately 40% of sales are from the North American continent. TCPL will boost domestic and global revenue with expanded distribution and marketing might. Tata MD and CEO Sunil D'Souza said that in the short to medium term, quote, we will build food and beverage before we get out into the FMCG spaces, end quote. He said that both acquisitions operate in areas that offer, quote, a huge runway for growth where margins are far accretive and business is growing at a healthy pace. This is the very start of our journey, he said. We have a long way to go. Tata generated revenue of $1.7 billion in fiscal 23. New Year celebrants who want to make the most of 2024's dry January pledge should turn to tea. Raise a dry tea martini or mock margarita in a toast to moderation. Taking a month-long break from alcohol will save you money and help you feel better. Researchers confirm that, quote, day after, end quote, hangovers entail more than foggy head and queasy stomach. Quote, Consuming too much alcohol can mess with your emotions the next day by causing stress hormones to spike 
and sleep to be disrupted overnight, writes the New York Times. Post-drinking mood-related issues such as anxiety are quite common, according to the Times. The World Health Organization warns that, quote, no level of alcohol consumption is safe for our health. Health authorities are calling on people to stop drinking alcohol or at least reduce their consumption. The alternative is to drink tea. January is hot tea month, an opportunity for the tea industry to remind tea drinkers of its many benefits and encourage non-drinkers to try tea. Retailers often discount and offer samples on free tea days during the month. Sampling remains the most effective means of converting ordinary tea drinkers to loose-leaf teas, extraordinary flavors, and benefits. The Tea Council of the USA is sponsoring its seventh annual Individuality Photo Sharing Competition. The Sweepstakes invites tea drinkers to sip and win. Entrants simply capture the moment with a photo, video, or comment to share on Instagram, X, or TikTok, and add the hashtag individuality, tagging the Tea Council with the at mark. Entrants can also upload images directly to the individuality website. Winners receive $1,000 cash, a year's supply of tea, and a wellness prize pack. The contest ends February 15th. Enter as often as you like. The Tea Council notes that, quote, True tea, unlike herbal tea, has the highest concentrations of flavor threols of all foods and beverages, making it the go-to source of these health nutrients. Recent guidelines published in Advances in Nutrition extrapolated data from published research to form dietary recommendation for flavin all intake. The data showed that consuming four to 600 milligrams of flavin alls daily, about two cups of brewed green or black tea, can help improve blood pressure, cholesterol, and blood sugar. A national survey by Nielsen for the Tea and Herbal Association of Canada found that positive attitudes toward tea remain strong, with relaxing leading the list of positive health associations for consumers. Whatever tea you prefer this national hot tea month, you can sip knowing your cup has plenty of health benefits, writes the Tea Council. A reminder that the Global Tea Institute's ninth colloquium, Tea in a Changing World, is January 25th. Visit globaltea.ucdavis.edu to register. And the Toronto Tea Festival is January 27th and 28th at the Toronto Reference Library. Purchase tickets at teafestivaltoronto.com. I will be attending and look forward to seeing you there. Next, Arvinda Anantharaman in Bengaluru presents this week's India Tea News. India Tea News for the week ending 20th January 2024. Tea exports from India drop in 2023. The Tea Board of India data for January to October 2023 is out and shows that exports dropped by 1.65% for the same as compared to the same period in 2022. In in volumes, that's 182.69 million kilos in 2023 compared with 185.75 million kilos in 2022. This drop was seen from a decrease in exports from North India. The South actually saw an increase of about 2 million kilos. The top reason for decrease was the loss of the Iran market, which may have absorbed as much as 20% of India's exports. Second, exports continue to take a hit as vessels passing through the Red Sea are being targeted, leading to exporters holding back shipments, and this could further worsen and shift India's export markets towards Kenya for this source of tea. Can green tea save Darjeeling? The front line recently reported on Darjeeling's current crisis. Of 87 gardens in Darjeeling authorized to produce GI tag Darjeeling tea, 10 have closed and 50 are reportedly up for sale. Darjeeling's planters have repeatedly issued statements on the crisis they've been facing. Gardens have traditionally relied on their first and second flush production, 
and the export market for around 40% of the annual revenues. But due to declining sales, proceeds from the first plus harvest are no longer sufficient. The recent partnership of Coca-Cola and Makaibari Tea Garden to produce bottled green tea and their own tea points to the in- interest in green tea in India. The rains flush that follows the second flush has traditionally been a season for tea made for the domestic market. And planters have spoken about using the season's harvest to produce green tea instead of only black. What this needs is for the tea board to create and develop a market to promote it. And now, a word from our sponsor. Hi, I'm Nish. I grew up in an organic tea farm and founded Nepal Tea Collective in 2016. Tea is not just a beverage for me, but a catalyst for social change sustainably empowering hardworking artisans like my parents for the past 30 years. I'm on a mission to make the whole world aware of the goodness of Nepali teas and the good that comes from supporting growers in this remarkable land. If you haven't tasted Nepali teas yet, you're missing out. Our award-winning teas are making headlines. Find out why. Visit Nepal Tea Collective's website to get a free sample of this extraordinary taste of the Himalayas. That's nepalteacollective.com. Or just send me an email at nish, N-I-S-H, at nepalteacollective.com. Cheers. Traditional Medicinals is a Northern California-based botanical wellness brand rooted in modern herbalism to inspire active connection to plant wisdom in service of people and planet. Formulations of more than 60 teas, lozenges, and capsules are strictly limited to botanical ingredients without added flavors and in quantities that meet pharmacopoeia standards for efficacy. The company's single blends and single herbal infusions are organic, sustainable, and ethically sourced. Traditional Medicinals was launched in 1974, and in recent years, the company has experienced exponential growth as consumer demand fills the sales, expanding distribution from niche natural food stores to mass market outlets. Joining us is Chief Marketing Officer Crystal Corson. Medicinal teas have been around for what seems like forever, she says, but herbals are having their moment. And it is important to educate folks, not just on what has been, but on what medicinal herbalism is today. And it's very different. Crystal Corson joined Traditional Medicinals in 2022. Quote, to focus on building the brand for its next phase of growth, rooted in purpose, and delivering amazing products that harness the power of plants and their many wellness properties, end quote. She spent more than 30 years helping beloved brands like Cliff Bar, Jamba Juice, Clover Sonoma, and Leapfrog exceed business objectives through a combination of innovative new product launches, strong retail presence, and marketing programs that create positive, lasting consumer connections. As Chief Revenue Officer, Crystal helped transform the century-old Clover Stronetta brand from a values-based regional dairy to a nationally recognized, conscious consumer and mission-driven product innovator. Crystal earned a BS in Business Administration with a concentration in marketing from San Francisco State University. I'm delighted, Crystal, that you could join us today on the T-Biz Podcast. Will you tell us just a little about yourself? I've been uh, working on different consumer packaged goods for over 30 years. About 20 years ago, I found uh, my passion through working for Cliff Bar and Company on the Luna Bar brand to work for brands that are driven by multiple bottom lines, really, you know, more purpose driven. And so since then, I have been doing that, uh, marketing brands that have an impact, that really have a mission that is, you know, to to do better out in the world. I started with Traditional Medicinals about 15 months ago, and they are probably uh, the most purpose-driven, impact-driven brand out there, at least that that I have come across and, and worked on. The brand is almost 50 years old. Actually, next year we will be celebrating 50 years. 
It is primarily tea. However, you know, our focus is really around plant medicine and bringing uh, plant medicine out to the world in a accessible way to, to help with everyday wellness. And so since then, we've actually recently launched lozenges and uh, looked to even different ways to, to bring this plant medicine. But again, our mainstay, our, our main products are, are the teas, and, and that's what started the company just about 50 years ago. Good Housekeeping recently named Throat Coat a category winner in coffee and tea. The Kitchen Lab experts and more than a thousand consumer testers were tasked with finding the most innovative, high-performing products. They chose a tea that has been around since the 1970s. The citation by the judges encapsulates several modern trends. Quote, Warm liquids can be soothing, and this blend from traditional medicinals is designed to support throat health. It smells sweet and like licorice. It's also slightly woody. It's organic, and the brand is B Corp certified, said Good Housekeeping. Consumers really look to Good Housekeeping because they use consumer panels. They, they really do their research to recommend the certain products. And to have throat coat be called out as, you know, one of the best teas out there is, is amazing. Throat coat is a product that has been around almost since inception. It wasn't one of the original teas, but, but came out very soon after. And throat coat is, is a tea that obviously helps your throat while you're sick or, or when you're hoarse, but it, it, it's really a tea that's just for overall throat health. Throat coat has actually been getting quite a, a lot of recognition of late, but also, you know, a number of artists out there, musicians in particular, seem to, to really love throat coat. The uplift from niche natural grocery and health food stores to the mass market was underway before the pandemic, but has since accelerated. In 2020, the company built a 125,000-square-foot distribution facility in Virginia to better serve East Coast customers. Crystal, what is propelling the brand forward? Well, traditional medicinals has always been rooted in plant medicine. We only use medicinal-grade herbs in our teas. We don't actually use any flavoring, any anything but the true herb. And and one of the things we pride ourselves in is, you know, we are trying to introduce the true taste of herbs to consumers. We have a full staff of R and D scientists and naturopath doctors that understand these herbs, their qualities, and the different flavors we create with our our medicinal herbs formulas and blends that give like a throat coat that is, you know, a, a, a tea that it, its key ingredient is the slippery elm, which is a, a tree bark from Appalachia that really soothes the throats. But it's, you know, incorporated with many other herbs that provide medicinal benefits like a licorice, but also give it a nice taste. And so we're, we're very proud that we are able to bring that efficacy uh, to our teas with blends that consumers like as well. In its 2024 Foods Trend Predictions in Grocery, Whole Foods Market named traditional medicinals an example of a woman's health trend labeled from taboo to top of mind. Quote, we're seeing more brands making products to support periods, pregnancy, postpartum, menopause, and even sleep that address life stages and symptoms previously swept under the rug, writes Whole Foods. Traditional Medicinals co-founder Rosemary Gladstar was selling mother's milk lactation tea 50 years ago. The line now includes raspberry leaf tea for menstrual relief, pregnancy tea, and morning ease for morning sickness. Medicinal-grade herbs have been used for thousands of years to help women through the different stages in their life. You know, medicinal-grade herbs can really help with hormonal balances. Obviously, you mentioned mother's milk, which is, you know, one of our original teas that really does help women who are nursing to, to produce more milk. One of the, the most recent trends that's come out there is an herb called raspberry leaf. 
And that is a, a very popular tea of ours to help women with their menstrual cycles. Um, again, helping to balance out uh, the hormones. And so one of the things that that we really try to do at Traditional Medicinals is develop products that can become part of your everyday wellness cycle. Going to the doctor, getting pharmaceutical drugs is necessary from time to time. But on a daily basis for overall wellness, herbs have been, again, used for thousands of years and very much have a place in today's world and to be part of your overall wellness journey uh, for women, for men, for her, um, you know, as you start aging. And so we really do... Um, you know, enjoy this sort of new awareness that is out there around how much herbal teas, again, that are made with medicinal grade herbs can really help a woman, you know, throughout their stages of life. So how's business? Our business is actually going wonderful. Uh, we continue to see double digit growth year on year. I think it's, it, it is a lot about right time, right place. I mean, obviously post covid People really during that time frame have taken a, a look at sort of their overall health and wellness and really have made changes. The younger generations are much more into plant-based products in general. Herbal tea is obviously one of those. I think that herbal tea is something that, again, consumers for a relatively low cost can bring it into their daily life and, and take better care of themselves. And what's unique about traditional medicinals is really how we go about and source the product. We're organic, but many of our products are fair trade certified. It is a, a key sort of side, um, you know, that we really try to bring to light, you know, how important it is for the producers and the growers and the, the people who collect the herbs to be treated fairly within the retail space. You know, consumers are asking for not only good quality products, but they're asking for products that are made in a fair and ethical way. How are online sales? The online sales definitely went through the roof during during COVID. It was the, the one of the key ways that that people received um, products and goods. For us, online. You know, it offers a really different experience for the consumer versus brick and mortar. When you go online, you know, many times you can really tell the story of your products. You can go deep with pictures and articles, videos. And so the consumer really is able to get much more educated. And so by being educated, especially with something like a traditional medicinal tea that, you know, has so much behind it. You know, it's a dietary supplement, which is regulated by FDA. We have a number of certifications, which are all third party accredited. I mean, people can read about this and get steeped in that information and really make a much better choice. Online retailers make it easy for you to subscribe. A lot of them offer discounts if, if you do subscribe. Um, and so that is something that kind of gets it so that it becomes part of a consumer's pantry convenience is, is a huge part, right? You, you're able to go online at any time, buy a product. But for us, what we've really been able to do is tell our story. We've been able to provide consumers with in-depth information about how we make our teas, where we get our teas from, our ethical sourcing, and everything that we believe in that supply chain side. Consumers get to review um, and so, you know, not only are you hearing from the company and everything that they bring forward, but, you know, many of our top products have amazing reviews and quite a few of them. And so I think that really helps consumers hit that buy box when they're when they're shopping online. Renewed interest in herbal infusions and condition specific and functional teas are trends that will be long lived. How do you see the evolution of traditional medicinals? Obviously, we talk a lot about the hut um, within the four walls of, of traditional medicinals. As we look to the future, you know, again, we are rooted in plant medicine and really bringing that to the forefront of to consumers and, and helping them better themselves on an everyday basis. Tea is always going to be sort of the the core of that of the brand because of 
it, its ability to deliver plant medicine in a way that that people can consume easily. And it also just gives you that sense of sort of a daily ritual to take care of yourself. Tea provides an entire experience. But as we look to the future, you know, we also see can bring plant medicine to consumers. You know, most recently we launched our organic lozenges under the Throat Coat brand, and they, you know, already are are doing amazing at retail. People, you know, they recognize Throat Coat as something that they've had in their pantry for years to help with their throat. A lozenge is is the perfect perfect product. But there's so many more. And, you know, as we really look to the future, it is this combination of continuing the education, continuing our, you know, fair and and ethical sourcing, but also finding new ways to bring plant medicine to consumers world. And so we're we're excited. You know, we've we've got a a full innovation team that is thinking up all the different ways to to bring these amazing herbs to consumers and and make them more accessible and help them understand the benefits they can bring. Intrigued by what you heard in today's podcast? Would you like to learn more from our global network of T-Biz journalists and tea experts? Remember to visit the T-Biz website for more comprehensive coverage. That's www.t-bizbiz.com. Thanks for listening. Farewell till next week. Produced by Adavita Studios. Connect your voice to the world.